So probably one of the biggest stories of the week, if not the year, is the Chinese spy named Christina Fong infiltrating the office of California Democrat Congressman Eric Swalwell. The two spent years developing a long relationship. The spy picked him off, seeing his potential. He was just a city councilman when she first met him. Then Fong helped him get elected to Congress. You wouldn't know that if you watch other networks or listen to any Democrat speaking because they're pretending the scandal does not exist. Now Swalwell is a member of the House Intelligence Committee. Who knows what high-level national security information he might have exposed to the spy. This should concern all of us. It's why I am calling for Swalwell to be removed from the House Intel Committee and Congress, and Republican House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy agrees. But take a listen to Speaker Nancy Pelosi on this national security threat. Well, I don't have any concern about Mr. Swalwell. I do think uh, that it's unfortunate that Mr. McCarthy is trying to make an issue of this. No concerns. And Mr. McCarthy trying to make an issue of this? You've got to be absolutely kidding me. The Russia conspiracy theorist Swalwell possibly exposed our top national security intelligence to China, and Pelosi could not care less. Pelosi spent years spewing propaganda that President Trump is an agent of Vladimir Putin. But when proof of a real threat, this one from China, stares Pelosi in the face, she looks the other way. Why? Because it's her fellow Democrat staring back at her. Well, joining us now with more on the threat of national security, information being shared with Chinese spies, former acting director of national intelligence and former ambassador to Germany. Rick Grinnell is with us. Rick, great to have you on the program. Nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Rick, one of the things that scares me about this is this goes all the way back to when he was on a city council seat. I've been doing a lot of reading and research. They're sending hundreds of thousands of Chinese students here. And by no means do I want to say every Chinese student is a spy. But they are putting them in our universities ultimately to go out and get jobs, get into companies, steal trade secrets, become interns in Congress. Am I wrong? No, look, they, uh, they have infiltrated academia as well as politics, and, and something needs to be done. Let's also remember that Nancy Pelosi is jumping to defend Eric Swalwell because they're both San Francisco area Democrats. They both are right there, and they have the same political base. Uh, look, she ha was warned that members of Congress, mayors, local officials, and U.S. governors have been targeted by the Chinese. This is extremely deep. This is not the only case. I can assure you there are many members of Congress and Democrat governors and local officials who have been targeted by the Chinese, and the Chinese have pushed leverage. It has picked up during COVID because they saw their reputation, the Chinese saw their reputation completely tank because of what the intelligence community made clear that COVID-19 started in China. So we have a crisis on our hands. Certainly, we know Eric Swalwell spent years downplaying the Chinese threat and overhyping the Russian threat. I think there needs to be a full investigation of the Senate Intel Committee and the House Intel Committee. They should go into classified settings and hear the entire uh, the entirety of the case, and they should do that immediately. All right, and, and that's from the former acting director of national intelligence. Uh, it's, a, it's a stunning call, really, Rick, because you think there could be more senators and congressmen on these intelligence co committees that may be compromised. Is that right? Well, first of all, uh, I can assure you that I know for a fact that many have been targeted and have gotten defensive briefings. Now, we should explain what a defensive briefing is. When the intelligence community knows and feels like a politician or an, any individual in America is being targeted and leveraged by a foreign uh, government, then we step in and we brief them on what we know because they don't always know what's happening. But uh, I can assure you that many members of Congress, again, governors, local officials, have had these defensive briefings. They've picked up over the last year, but they've been going on for a long time. And this is what Nancy Pelosi was blurring when she talked today, where she said, look, we were briefed on this in 2013 or whatever she said. 
um, she's missing the point that a warning to senior leadership that the Chinese are leveraging, you know, generically members of Congress is one thing. But to also look at the very specific nature of how we know certain individuals are being targeted or fallen for uh, the Chinese leverage, we also step in on those occasions. And clearly, this is what happened with Eric Swalwell. This was a specific yeah. case, not just a generic warning. Look, if you're in bed with a Chinese spy, you are in bed with the Chinese government. It is that simple. Well, look, uh, what we do know is that Chinese officials who are used to target uh, U.S. politicians and U.S. personnel are some of the most sophisticated Chinese spies that they have. They have to be able to speak English. They have to be able to know the ways of the United States. But they also have to be uh, very deep into the Chinese communist culture and politics. And so they are utilized at the top level. Uh, I spent eight years at the UN, and I can assure you that uh, the Chinese spies are all over the UN. Uh, they infiltrate wherever they can, and they're very good, and we have to be better. Our U.S. intelligence agencies have to always be one step ahead of all of the other uh, foreign governments that are targeting our people. Well, I'll tell you, my biggest concern when you lay that out, Rick, is the fact that we have a possibility of a new administration that is not going to be tough on China. You want to talk about we have to be better? I do not think a Biden administration is going to have the United States being better than what Donald Trump has done to push back against China. Rick Grinnell, I so appreciate you coming on. It's always great to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.